Hey, yo, 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 yo. I hope I'm on the right one. Uh, where the fuck is my sound? TCS. Where the fuck? There it is. So we're in Discord right now, so people can hear us. We can hear them. Y'all can chat with them. Y'all can chat with me. Um, me here and there. I might just honestly uh, deafen myself so that way we can focus on this game and be involved in ball. <clears throat> But we're talking right now, so we'll start the game here in a second. Maui and Smite? Smite? You want to play Smite? <laughs> they have Maui on there. Maui? What the fuck is that? Meowie. Moana. Meowana? Maui. Meowana. Moana. Meowana. 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 Wanna like M O W? No, M O no. A. M O A? M O A O. I don't know. Something like that. I say M O A N N A or something like that. Madonna? I just spelt it the way you guys told me to, and that shit did not show up. Not the game. The game's not called Moana. Oh, I thought you were talking it's about Wii. Smite. What? Oh, Moana? Like the movie? Yeah. Yes! I you could have just said the a... movie! I said this Smite guy. has Maui in it. And you're like, Maui. I looked oh, yeah, up Maui, Maui bro. Moana? Yo, I. I kept saying no. Moana. You could have just said it's the fucking movie, right bro. I, we were talking about Smite. I heard Smite, and then yes, I heard Maui. Smite has a new god, and his name is Maui. And I looked up M E O W I the way I thought it was spelled, and I saw somewhere in there it said Mauiana, as in marijuana for cats. No, we said Maui from Moana. And I couldn't think of what the fuck Moana was, and. Somebody decided to put two O's instead of the A's in the end. Probably two fucking O's. Jose. <laughs> Enrique, no, hold up. Jose spelled it like M O A N O O. I didn't. I what said four the... letters. Nah. You... I said M O A O, something like that. That's what I. That's, that's what moon. I, said. I don't know. I don't fucking watch it. What's up, dumbass? You said fucking marijuana. You said fucking. Moana with a W, you fucking ugly ass, you fucking white boy. Jim. I was trying to figure out what he was talking about, bro. He could have just easily said it's the movie Moana. I was, I, I even heard him while this I shit was so loud. Movie, Moana. He did. He, you <laughs> he literally did. did. I was saying the movie Moana. No, you did not. <laughs> Actually, here, Moana. you wanna, you wanna, you wanna go that way? We can go that way right now, cause I had you uh, on stream in time. Bring his footage on stream. I will go and fucking figure this shit out, bro. Dude, if I got it right, you owe me a cinnamon roll, bro. If I, if you get it right, I owe you a dick sucking. What? Okay, let's see. How long have you been streaming for? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, I'm watching it, I'm watching it. Same. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm. Are you leaving? I dipped. Huh? <clears throat> Boom, right there. I watched the whole thing. You did not say it is the movie ever.
we're gonna wait this out, bro. I'm gonna grab this guy by the dick. So, uh, any knowledge? I don't care, bro. You still, you still, you still done. So you're. How you mess up? How you fumble the bed that hard, bro? You're, you're gonna not take the L because I just about proved you. Moana, bro? I just proved to you that you took the, the L. I don't know what you're saying. And then some dumbass, I think it was you, are saying Moana instead of Moana. It's Moana, not Moana. And then some dumbass put the M O A N N something A. And then fucking Jose is M O A O N. Moon. Shut the dumbass. fuck up. You said mar marijuana, you fucking retard. Because I heard Maui and I looked that up first. <laughs> and I was thinking of cats, bro. So I typed in Maui. And then it pulled up cat. The dumbass spelled it wrong, too, huh? Spelled what wrong? <laughs> You know he spelled it wrong too. He spelled it with a W. For meow? Oh man, oh man. I wasn't trying to look up what you were trying to say. I looked up what I thought it was. So I spelled my shit right. I just have stupid ass friends. That's what it is. Don't be my afraid shit. of me, brother. Y'all are some lovely friends. You're the one stupid. Could have just fucking simplified it by saying it's the movie. Instead of being like, no, it's I was talking Moana. about the game that has the movie in it. Yes, he was. I know I know exactly what game he was talking about. I knew he was talking Maybe about clean Smite. Clean your ears out, fucking Jew. Okay, Jose's getting racist. I thought yeah, you were no, not that, Jew. Oh, that was such a <laughs> that was That was heavily racist. That's like that me calling racist. you a fucking Mexican. <laughs> that is extremely that racist. Little, that was a little bit. That was, that was extremely <laughs> racist. That was, uh, that was taken off topic for You can't go like. Just fuck. Jesus. Oh, that was a little off topic. You just threw that one out. You're not going to win this, bro. God damn. <laughs> Jose doesn't fucking care, bro. <laughs> No, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> not racist shit. I don't care. <sighs> You're not a Jew, are you? So it's not racist. You still can't go. Shut up, you Jew. You still can't say that. Okay. <laughs> when I say it's racist, <laughs> but when Gage says the N word, it's not racist. Okay. I see how it is. <laughs> I would love to hear this story. What story? Your story, bro. You're the one who says the N-word the heaviest. Oh my god, we're on this one? Okay. Because I'm black. You I are not say... black. <laughs> yes, I am. You are a Latino. Okay, that's racist. You can't identify what I am. I Ricky, can't identify what you were, because I know what you were! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Latino, I'm fucking Dominican, you fucking retard. No, no. You're getting fucking racist right nah, now, bud. Nah, 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 nah. On you. On your mama, mama. Don't be chaining up your stories. <laughs> On your mama, mama, Shut the fuck up. No, fuck. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hey there. Hold up, man. Oh, I'm gonna death myself for an hour and a half or so. And then I'll come play with y'all.
Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. You seem uh, to handle yourself pretty well. Okay. <laughs> really? <clears throat> I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. Fucking... I should not shut up properly. What this right there? There we go. That guy saved you? <laughs> yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? That's fucked up. Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the yep. way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. I don't know what the fuck you said. Uh, let's examine everything now. Did not mean to hit that button. Whoops. It's all melted now. Can't get in there. <clears throat> you all right, Lee? I'm okay. Thanks. Where the fuck am I going to get a key, bro? How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah, let's let's have a look around. Okay. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. What this fat ass can? What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice. You know? <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... Is a prick. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. <sighs> we should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here. Oh, we know he works here. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. <laughs> Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. So... Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Could try the axe. Awesome. Now to distract quiet. those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Bitch! Yeah, that totally didn't make no sound.
This will work. Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Will do, boss. No, oh, looks like he tried to shoot himself in the head. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you hell. find them yet? Give me a second. Guy's yelling. Hey. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. Just gotta keep it straightforward. Make the sacrifices where needed. Hit you in the head. Why are you making so much noise, bro? Just hit him in the head. There we go. Turn around, I'm gonna be like three behind you. Holy crap! Run! Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Such good music in it, bro. Oh no. Oh shit. We gotta hurry. Oh, there's like another worker right there. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round right back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Glad we need your help. Please hurry. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Yeah, we'll make it through. We'll make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! On it. 
Are you sure? Shit! What? Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. You got it, Clementine. You got Clementine, shit. did you find anything? Nothing! Wait! The window is screwed! Go! I found something! Somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Why are you still standing there, buddy? Yo, fuck that old guy, bro. Oh man, Clementine! Man's got that riz, bruh. And then this one time, Derek and Superdome shot the ambush for Squid Ears. But Derek had an underwater mega laser. You never pay attention to where you leave for. Can you just look at it? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. Look at that fucking bitch over there. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. Did you check the glove box? To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Lily, fuck off. I remember when I packed them up, I said, Oh, these are going to be important and can we lose them, so I'll put them right in this way. Can I tell him he can go? Then you had to go and move them. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. You gotta pay attention to where you leave things. Can. can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. I don't know how hard it is to keep A lot of, uh, like awkward silence. To begin with. I remember when I packed them up, I said, it was so beautiful. It's Glenn. He should be fine. Smart, nimble boy. Did you check the no, hey, Ken. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. 
Yeah, we do. Did you check it the glove box? So awesome. I swear SPS I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to where you leave things. Oh, shift to speed run. Oh, man. Check this yeah. out. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know, it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Hmm. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I remember when I packed them up, I said, oh, these are going to be I was going to help you both. Doesn't have the right but one. you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Because you had the gun, that's why. Did you check the glove box? Sorry, I have to do it that way. Oh, man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. Yeah. It's all like pow, 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 pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was him, toast. Kill him. Kill him. But you know what? He oh, wasn't. Oh, and then? Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool like it for a minute? Okay, with. sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Did you check the oh, box? I'm sorry. I swear I saw Thanks. I know I need to be tough. To I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, Can't. but it's how I used to talk it. to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's minutes. gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this like one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Fuck you, fat ass. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. God damn it, Doug. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter, or step out of line once, and you just look over and so will everyone else. We own would be lost if I, left you alone for five I know who you are, Ooh. and I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. I've been keeping that little girl safe. Hey, Lee, you deck me in the do you have a second? Face. Cause you a cocksucking little piece of shit. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Right, so. Dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. No, we couldn't. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. There goes power grid. Oh, look a little climb running towards me. That's fucking cute. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't know me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. Uh, we gotta get food, boys. Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. 
You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Teddy's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. Yeah, Teddy was a bit. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. The fuck did he want me to do? Kill the little kid that wasn't a threat to us? Nah, he's a fucking prick. Oh, there's stats for these? Lied to Herschel. 46% of players lied. 40% of people chose Sean. Fifty-four percent of us defended Kenny. Good. Fifty-three percent of us gave Irene the gun. Good. And forty-nine percent of us chose Carly. Good. She had the gun, bro. Can I just insta skip to the next one? Go back to like main menu, I guess. Go start for help. Surprised me, these episodes aren't that long. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I oh, got shit. another good one for you. I uh, keep my colors. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. Ow, fuck. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. To be honest, Carly could have saved Doug. To be honest with you, she really could. She could have flipped around. Bap, bap, bap. With how good of a shot she is. Oh, is it winter? No. Looks like autumn, fall. Getting close to winter. Damn, bro, that look like me. Damn. Who the fuck are these guys? What did they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. I don't even know where the fuck this guy came from. No kidding. Did you see? Just showed up. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Oops. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. 
You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Fuck Larry. What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He does. He's a fucking prick. He's an old He's racist just an asshole. Old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Should have killed him when I got the fucking chance. Where they go, but don't gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on, I'll probably be ready for anything that happens. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get, get it off, God damn too. it, get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. No, just see if you can get no. him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Yeah, we got no choice. Time to cut off his fucking leg. Shit. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through a chain. Die. This is bad. Please bad. do something! Just get me out! Please. Oh God! Please oh, save him. him! We're gonna be surrounded any minute! Please! Get me! Damn it, this is bad! No! He's all so much bad. blood already! Just please get me hurry out. up! Please! All that blood and screaming! We're gonna be surrounded any minute! I'm gonna break my this fucking weapon because he, I'm not gonna throw Let's go! Chain. Let's go! Oh God! I'm gonna have to cut you out! No! 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 Try the trap again! Anything, please, it has please. to be now! Get over, boys! Ah. Damn it, Lee, just cut off his fucking leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now! Hurry up, Lee, you got him! Oh god! Shit. Is he. He passed out. There ain't nothing we can do about it. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. We ain't gonna cut through that chain. I ain't breaking my axe either. Hell no. You're lucky I decided to keep you alive. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Don't ask Kizzy, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Looks so sad, bro. I think the little boy's got autism. Or just extremely optimistic. It's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. She's hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I've saved multiple people. I don't see asses. any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Fuck off, old man. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good then the luck. kids get it. Kids get food. Can he get food? Here, eat something. Why don't you give it to Doc? 
I'm a little busy with your mess right now. That's why I'm giving you Is he food, gonna be bitch. okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. No, that's what I, I did. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay, let's go feed the kids first. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Give him um, half an apple. Here. Oh heck yes! Is there peanut butter? Sadly. What no. do you think, Duck? No, probably not. Give food to Clementine. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. She gets crackers and cheese because she's my little girl. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. And then... Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket, if you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Get food Here, work. eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I give it to him, bro. Not Larry. Give it to Mark. Here, Mark. This should help. Fuck Larry, bro. Thanks. He might accidentally kill hey, us. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh. And that's what you think this is? It's exactly what it is. You're a racist-ass old man. Is that what you Big W eats, bro. There, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Give Larry the beef jerky. Fuck Larry, bro. Fuck Larry. He's an old piece of shit that's racist as hell. I'd rather give Mark the jerky. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. And then the wife over here that's taking care of a fucking person who might die tomorrow when he needs food. Oh, she doesn't want it. Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. You bitch. This doesn't change anything. Not trying to bitch. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? It was pretty easy. It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. 
That's what a real man does. Kids first, motherfuckers. Thanks, Kenny. Kids first. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Nah, nobody You're knows. out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Gonna be a big Ken, ass explosion. Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Kaja. But. He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Yep, go feed him to the zombies. The other kid. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. Asshole! Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! Wasn't but he bitten. wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? You did have one job, one job and he fucked it up. It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. That makes sense when since I first the fucking disease happen, came from space. We were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Literally a setup. Why Literally. do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Bullshit, bullshit. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Me neither, bro. Shit, kind of sketch. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Let's go. So, uh, do it anyways. what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Oh my god. Can't they make biodegradable so, fuel at dairy, the farm anyways? You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. 
Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping us alive. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Uh, Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. True. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. Be my wife, right I mean, now. thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? I don't feel Where like Where are I'm you watching. from? I ain't gonna tell you shit. I move around, around a lot. lot. Hard to call any place home, I guess. I used to move around a bit myself, but the dairy will always be home to me. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, Do I think I would Who's survive? running things over there? Honestly? We work as a group. All uh, of us looking out for each other. I, think I hear I would. that. There's so many dumbasses out there. The only thing that'd be trouble is food, days. but I think it's I'd just be fine stupid. personally. How many people you got over there anyway? So. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. He's asking way too many We're questions all about that shit. Some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always could use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? You haven't noticed. Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it There's all to yourselves. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! God damn. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. It's not to kill a human. I think it would start good, but after a while maybe it would... This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Right. Facts. This I mean, place looks untouched. Where we live, bro? You never know the rest we got of the an world area just ruins. down here that's perfect. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. Well, uh, next to really St. anything John, and big welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. So, he moves around a lot, but things the way they are, maybe we can convince him to stick around for a while. They got a few more friends True. staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, they that would be place a problem. is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable.
Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. Material. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it Materials. through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for that's a good a long material. while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Got plenty of farms. A vet? Here. Oh my! So our prayers storage. have been Still answered. A shit ton of Maybe corn, bro. our whole group could come. A for the day. Make a lot of well, bread. We how have. about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. I don't It'll like the way she nice talks, bro. It'll be to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Danny, look, he looks like... Why don't I head back with the food people. and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with me. Remember, struggling right those now. roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. She got a pistol, doesn't she? Thought she did. Mark, Lee, why She's don't you take there. a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd <laughs> be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Time to explode. Go. Hey, bro, walk a little faster. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How'd it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new Thanks. board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Inner monologue that says it out loud? Goaded. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Look at picket fence. There is a whole opening right there. Hmm. Pointy. Hmm. Pointy. Jesus. This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Hmm. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. We love a man that can take care of himself. Just nonchalantly takes it in his rear ass. Fucking magic boy. Water, 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 water. Ooh, awards. 
This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Literally. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Man's was up on my ass instantly, bro. Shoe bucket. The fuck is this shoe bucket? A oh, box. It's not a bucket. This rope is perfect for the swing. What the fuck calls a box a bucket? Oh, plants. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Hello. Milkman here. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. I'm guessing it's the mom? Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Mm. Staff. How many rooms yeah, does this house have? Room. Rooms? Why do you ask? It's custom built. It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. Okay, what happened to your staff? What the fudge? What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. Nah, you yeah, have to be eating them, bro. It's gotta be a fucking body-eating place. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. Saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after what their good kids, kids started talking. They I think saved it was me. hardest on Andy. They loved Dan him. was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let was me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. I got a weird feeling of this place, man. Ugh, I feel like they eat bodies. Like in the movie. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Why so do you look out for years old? Here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on the Okay, I didn't ask for a fucking resume of your life. Kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Shut yeah, up, old woman. It does. Shut up. Oh, give a fuck. Is that corn? Looks like corn. Oh. 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 Alright. Let's go talk more. Outlet. 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 You can the definitely the tell they built this thing themselves. Uh, that's actually not up to standard, bro. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? 
The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Well, they give off that vibe, bro. On God, bro, they do. Shit kind of weird. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Mm. Oh, Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Let me steal the shit, dog. I'm gonna steal everything. Su casa, mi casa, I found. Damn, big ass fence. Jesus Christ. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just, it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be Mark. civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Bro, if that fence ain't off, we are Ugh. dead. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. He is kind of dressed with the... Looks like he's stuck. Oh, well, that would make sense. I didn't think the arrow was actually going to be stuck Disgusting. in the wood either. Strong-ass arrow, though, bro. God damn. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. Yeah, so I'd what's like your to take see on him go try that, bro. They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. That's the first thing people are going to start taking is gas. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's another one. I see it. He's doing the walk. To pull in. Uh, Man's hanging on for dear life. Man, the fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fuse together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Fuck Just try to focus ass. on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Hey, Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Damn, one hell of a halt. Little help here, Lee? 
No. Shouldn't we cut him in half? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here! Ah! Ah! Oh. I told you what would happen, you son of a What the? Get to the gate! I'm ready for any cookies. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on, that gate is our only way out! Don't think I can't see ya! I was paid. Did you really think you could fuck with us? What about our arrangement? You didn't deliver the goods! Now we're gonna take the Get own. back here! I already got one of you! Behind the tractor! The blades are stuck in the dirt! Can't hide forever! I see him! Come on, Over if there. we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Come on! Ah. They're on the move! Shit, that hurts. Ah. Do it all you all right. me the open. Ah, the fuck you song bitches up! You assholes! Hella southern, bro. Hella southern. Get that light what happened? Shit. Damn. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna oh. have to move it. Get closer! How many of those things did we push down? I feel like we pushed that many down. You assholes to I already got one of you! Over there! Show yourself! Ah. Ah. He's gonna fight my dog! I see him! You fuck with us! You okay? Yeah. Barrel. Come on! The gate's right there! Did you really think you fuck yeah, with us? Going, bro. Now there you are, boy! <laughs> you assholes! <laughs> Give us the food! It's that speed run, bro! What was that? Let's get out of here! Oh my god, bro! You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't you can't have way. somebody crawl and run like that, dude! Run was hilarious. It was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. No, oh, no, no, honey, no, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. Depending we'll on the arrow, bro. You stick that shit what? through all the way. Then what kind of shit is front. this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. It could have, bro. It Listen, really we have. may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down. But I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bro, he might Pandits, be that kid in are school. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. That would act here. tough. Not like, safe. This place I did all is a hell of a lot safer than that motor ring. I think all kid. of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. 
take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. Now Larry's gonna be fucking sensible. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Where's the kids? I'm hey, glad kids. to hear you good. Look Let's what go. Lee got working for you. Oh, oh, swing! I love swings! Oh, I didn't Just find like at my hat. tree house! Come on, Doc! Thanks, Lee. You're the best! Yeah! I gotta go back and find her hat. Or find her a new hat. Kenny, give me your motherfucking hat. Uh, let's see. Gas cans. Bro, the body has gotta be in there. Oh, God, bro. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Right next to where the electricity is, bro. I'll go check up on Mark later. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Oh, I can't use it. Anything around here? Hay bales. Locked off over there. Let's go open the door. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Open it, damn it! If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Uh, oh, a gazebo. I'll talk to Lily. She might be my second wife. I have a whole ass harem, bro. What's up, Larry? Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Sure, bro. I ain't seen I know, one animal. I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. Oh my god, Larry. You How could you all bring off. us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. That I can agree with. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I might be take dead. it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Bro, there's gotta be cannibals in that shed, bro. It's gonna be, it's gonna be happening at night. Kenny's too emotional, but it's one of the little dumbass, the, right the little kid, Still, the guy kid, boy kid. If you two could try to work together once in a while, he's gonna be a dumbass and open that shit and get us all killed. Oh my god, it's a big ass propane tank. Pick a fence, would have looked at that. Probably go up to talk to them. Let's go check on the kids. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. Sweet. Welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Yeah. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. At least Duck's a good kid. Why this music? What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Why this do music? you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day. Things Gotta keep our hopes up, man. Got it. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Her parents are uh, in Savannah. They weren't there when the uh, zombie apocalypse started. She was next. She was with a babysitter. And apparently, uh, the babysitter was in the house. We had to kill the babysitter. So her parents were never there. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry. You almost I will got never let her die. There, uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Not now. We'll go in a few minutes. We just need to check on a few things before we head out. Sure, that's understandable. Talk things over with your group. Let's Let's come find us when you're ready. I'll do that. No, okay, I guess we gotta go. Scarlet's not out here, so... We have to instantly go. Can't go talk to Carly. Hey, Lee. Change your mind about going out to track down them bandits? Yeah. Let's go! It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Eh, eh, you stay here. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. By the way, that gun scares the damn shit out of me. My oh, shit looks so sad, bro. See anything? Not yet. I don't like the way he stands behind me, bro. Fucking creeps me out. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. I feel like he's gonna blast me in the back. Here. Oh shit. You found it? Thought this was reconnaissance. No, I can't look around myself. Okay. Gas tank. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. Bro, if he gets a pop, I'm out. I don't give a fuck. I'm out, this bitch. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Bro, nothing? Uh-oh. Did I do something? I hope I didn't. Nothing. Milk. Empty. Let's get the fuck out of me. 
Can I take the gas? Lemon pepper. Looks like they expected to be here a while. This shit's still hot, bro. If it just barely left, like within the hour. Just water. Damn, motherfucker is like burn resistant or some shit? Jesus Christ. This shit's still smoking. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Save glass box. I do trust them a little What's bit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. St. John Dairy Box. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Hey! Nah, it's gonna be a head in there, bro. Fuck is that? What do you find? Oh, is it a trail camera? Video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Oh, God damn it, Lee. That's too much information. Mm. Looks that like was extremely a lot fucking of stuff. sus. I thought he wasn't gonna show up, bro. I was like, oh, he's gonna fucking kill me. Is that the dairy? No, it's not. It looks like it's inside of a city. Or a town. It's kind of throwing me out, bro. I, he's freaking me out. Got a hat. The hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your oh, guns down. My God. I ain't going back. If you tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. Well... You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and don't shot my friend. Down, I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. Listen, we got a gun. You think you got I won't kill you? I'm going to take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking That's thing you. Hat? Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every Fuck goddamn bitch. person I see. Enough! Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. Hey. Don't need to go looking for death. Sit your ass down. I don't know who the fuck you is, but you took her hat. Shit! What the hell'd you do that for? We had a deal with them. Let's go the safe route. She's she about was to about shoot. to shoot us both. You could have just taken her down. You didn't have to kill her. Bro, I'm not faster than a fucking crossbow, man. Fuck you talking I about. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. <sighs> what does she mean we took her? It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. 
Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Take a crossbow. Ooh, he's got a happy smirk. Hey, hey, hey. A little creepy there, my bud. Eh, go pick up the hat. It probably has it, probably has it. I, why did she have Clementine's hat? It's a little fucked. Something must have happened. Man, that was a they hell of a ride, be. huh? What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back! What happened? Lee took care of it. I don't like the way he's talking, bro. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry. Me the hell out. My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? My second wife, you know, on that candy. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's empty. No, those two are just dumb bitches. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Why is the wind don't so worry. loud? I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Kenny, number two and guy. Thank you, Glenn, Glenn number one guy. Glenn, she always number one. The kids are in the barn with the cow. Uh, the woman is a lifesaver. Okay, so the barn's safe. Unless it's a zombie cow. And, okay, thank God she's good. She's safe. Okay. Woo! I might cry if fucking Clementine gets hurt, bro. Let's go give her a hat back. Speed walk! But this slow ass walk, speed your ass up. Is it safe in here? Are we safe? Okay, we're safe. Oh, this cows don't look very healthy. Looks sick. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Bro, it's such a good daddy and daughter relationship right there, bro. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Is that a fuck box? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Okay. Yeah, but don't <laughs> lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? Block of salt. She did. I don't know. <laughs> she fucking licked it, bro. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Probably smells like you. Like shit, right, Lee? God damn it. God damn it. Hey, don't use swear words, okay? Okay. I caused that problem. Oh, God. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. 
Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Oh, well, thanks my for heart. finding my hat. Dying. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. I'm gonna look at the cow right now. She in the looks animal. skinny. Skinny? That thing looks fat, bro. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he oughta. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Something sounds so goddamn fishy. Thanks. Yep. Bro, if I find a dead body in here. I feel like they know them. And they're kind of just, and this place is kind of just the, uh, the trap, trap home, bro. Boxes. Empty. No food. Hmm. A little suspicious. What's out here? You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? <clears throat> what about Clem? I will protect you. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. They gotta eat you the bodies. the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. My man probably knows how to pick a lock. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? I knew oh, it! you are not saying what I think you're saying. I knew it! Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Kenny's slightly racist. Kenny just slightly racist. Come on, hmm. Kenny, you're better than that. What? God See damn those it. screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. <laughs> Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? No. No. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Uh, don't say it like that, you fucker. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. Bro, no you problem. Think right away, back Doc. There? Well, they're going to eat people, bro. Yo, unlock that shit right now. I don't open that yet. <laughs> Fucking Kenny. You slightly racist bastard. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Fuck, I should ask for a screwdriver first. Eh, hey, gotcha. You got a screwdriver by chance. No, okay. Ah, screwdriver in one of these doors. Screwdriver. It's a farm. Look through. It's a feeding trough. Oh, I thought I said look through. Okay. 
screwdriver. Is that a foot? Shoes. Pants. IV bags. Hydrating fluid. Okay, it's hydrating fluids. Okay. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Nothing else important. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Just take Andy. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. Alrighty then. Fucking hell, I'm gonna go get a screwdriver. Watch this shit. I will ask the mom. She'll have one. Could have just left the door open, but okay. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. God, that makes me want to throw up. Yeah. Lily. 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 Are you, by chance, have a screwdriver on you? You know, you probably do, let's be honest. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? Yeah, kill the woman. Kenny thinks they're hiding something. I'm not sure what exactly, but we're starting to get a feeling about this place. I don't know. Maybe we should go have a look in that barn. Whatever you do, just be careful. I like how she likes me. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn oh. and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Well, figure that out. I'm about to It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. <laughs> so he's, so the, he's asshole. the asshole. Look. My dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's, he's got, got a lot, lot of pain. pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. Uh, and it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. <laughs> He's my dad. And I love him. I'm gonna steal you away from him. You're gonna be my wife? What's the other girl's name? Carly? Carly's gonna be my wife too? After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. God, Watch she's yourself, useless. Lee. You got no screwdriver on you? Get the fuck out of here, Lily. <laughs> Bro, why is he so sassy when he walks? God damn. Open the gate. Hmm. I didn't get the mom's name. Larry, you old bastard, you got a screwdriver on you? Well, uh... We'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> he's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. <sighs> Uh, uh, yeah, Mark. Mark I forgot about Mark, bro. Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Let's see what you missed. I don't know if you're here in the uh, the forest bit, but we shot a bitch. 
She had Clementine's hat, came back, gave that back to Clementine. There's a cow that's pregnant, about to have his baby. And Kenny's pretty sure that they're hiding something in the barn, so we're trying to get to in the back side of the barn, so we're trying to get inside the back side of the barn. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Yeah, so the most you mess me Before missed she died, we met a woman out there with in me the camp. Walking on she the wasn't barn. one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. Any of them. Ma'am, what are you keeping so, the barn? What are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. So the reason why Clementine was in there... The barn has like the front section. And there's a back section to it. That's all walled off. With a door. Okay, so there's no screwdriver anywhere. Let me just go ask him then, I guess. Slow ass walk. I forget I can run in this. Well... Jiggle jiggle will Is there anything over here? No. I thought they locked it. I'm in Oh. Jesus Christ, bro, I thought something bad happened. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Yeah, but where the fuck do I get one? I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. The generator. What about those generators? I'm so smart, you're... No. I'm so glad you're smart, Kenny. Because I ain't smart. Still don't have a screwdriver, though. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. So yeah, let's just fuck it up, I guess. Access panel. Access panel. Oh, fucking hell. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Uh, I'm so stupid. There's a toolbox. This so happens to be a multi-tool. Just gonna borrow this for a second. Oh yeah, I can figure it's not playing quick. No, no, no. There we go. There you go. a lot of noise. <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bare hands. Are you gonna cut it? There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Oh, son of a Fuck! Oh, this take forever. <laughs> God, this guy's a fucking idiot. Really? Throw a belt? Where? 
the belt just magically disappeared. Yeah, let's go. Be quick with it. Scary all vibes in here, bro. Ah! Screen started shaking. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's That's dinner what that time! Was? Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Yes, sir. Well, stop standing around, Lee. Let's get to work, man. Faster. Faster. Screws holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. My godly. Is that a fucking face back there? Didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. I don't know, man. Casas. Oh, Brenda, Biscuits? you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. Excuse me, we had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. God damn it, yeah, mama. Well, we're gonna go scratches. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Yes, Fix. And his college degree. These boys aren't stupid. Sure as hell looks stupid. Same, bro. I'm going up there right now. Oh, shit. We gotta control it. Oh, it's ass. Jiggy, 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 jiggy. Oh, 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 oh. He passed gas, bro. You got Come on. Mark, a lot of blood on this paper, dog. Oh, bathroom door. This is not a bathroom door at all. Where the hell is Mark? Oh, bedroom. But Brenda said he was up here resting. Is that blood? Farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary uh, here. That's not good. Can't go in that door. Uh. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Cows. You know, okay, that's not that weird, okay? I guess someone needed some first aid recently. 
musty as hell. Candles. Smart. Morphine? What do they need so much morphine for? They don't need morphine. Oh, hold up. Huh, where's that cord going? I know the cord goes downstairs. I can't get in this. Bro, oh, they got my boy Mark. What the uh -huh. hell? Huh, wait, huh, whoa, hold up, there's a thing behind here. You see that shit? Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. Feels like there's a storm coming. Can I not move it? Uh, farm books, cookbooks, nothing out of the ordinary here. How the fuck can I not move it? Is that blood? Why can't I move it? Maybe something in here that I could click to make it move? Huh, where is that cord going? What the fuck do I get back there? I see the doorway! Uh, farm books, cookbooks... Nothing out of the ordinary here. Where the hell is Mark? Thought Brenda said he was up here resting. There's like no extra thing going on. I guess we'll try to connect it. Oh fuck, there was a thing there. You are right. I am stupid. What the hell? Bro, did we just kill Mark on accident? Oh, I swear to God, bro. These guys eat people. Ain't no way they did not hear me do that. Yes, run. Clem. No, Clem. No, don't eat don't that. Eat that. Huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Don't ask oh, sit your ass don't down, ask Lee. Him. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just. Bro, he's stop. fucking god. He can use it. some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's what crazy. The hell? Now. You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, Kenny, what the hell is I wrong swear with you? Where to God? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. You racist ass old bitch. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. Thank you, Kenny. You'll find a guy with smart. both of his legs hacked off. Is. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. You don't eat It's humans. how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Now nah, you're fucked up, dog. Fuck, no. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. 
Come back run. Time. run! Nobody's going anywhere. Oh, I'm a dime. We got oh. lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of go here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't wanna die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? No, you shithead. I swear to God. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Holy... I swear to God, Lee. Oh, uh, he's a... He's a walker. He's a walker. Told me in that whole time when everybody was looking at that doorway, Lily oh, didn't do anything. Door. That you can't keep us in here. <laughs> fast woman, open up. Try I will tear you fuckers Stop apart with my bag. bare hands. We gotta find another way out of here. Damn. Yo, shit, fucking bastards! Open this okay. door, Is she God okay? damn it! I will knock the Please. goddamn God. door down. Stop. Okay, good. She's okay. Oh, thank God. Thank God. It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If God, you dude. hadn't dragged your feet! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? Sure make sure she's okay first. They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm-mm. Oh, man! Up. Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! Well, meat locker, this goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers. Dad, please. Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Okay, no new monologue. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Please settle down. Foxy, I'll Foxy. Your yeah. and make Don't want to know what kind. Shelves. Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. I think I saw a chat in there that said, have I played it before? Only episode one. On the phone. That's the farthest I've ever got. So behind these pallets? No such luck. They're not gonna open the door! They got Katja and Duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. I thought, I thought he was banging his head, bro. This isn't helping. It's the easiest place out there. I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, easy. Oh, God. Dad? Bro, if no. he turns into a zombie because he dies of a on. heart attack. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast Literally, he turned? No what are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size! It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. Oh. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. We gotta help. We gotta help. Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Kenny, you find anything to keep us safe. Are you stupid? 
He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of Two, us at risk, you three. son of a bitch! You're fucking Four. worthless, Lee. It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. He was still alive. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> oh my god. Are you okay? Is it over? <sighs> yes, for now. We still need to Don't find a way box, out of here. Fuck. El Kenny, bro. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Your walkie-talkie. Your walkie-talkie. Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? Oh yeah. I'm working on it. Nah, you said you said yes. Oh my god. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> God damn, bro! That head butts me! I'm sorry, Lily. Holy shit! There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. And I have this. The multi tool. I have the multi tool. Let's go. Of course they took it. Shit. God damn Maybe it. there's something else we could use. This is where you gotta I learn got how to rock. stick shit up your ass, bro. Uh, a rock won't help, but a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh uh. Any of these guys have a coin? It's not a coin, bro. It's flatheads. Not even if a coin we can at all. Or oh, these screws. The AC should come down easily. Glad to know. It's not coming off that way. Okay, well, Kenny, I know damn well you're southern and you have pennies. Um, no, nope, it's Larry. I'm sorry, Lily. Okay, I don't care now. Lily, I need to check your dad's pockets. Please, I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But now is not the we're time. Gonna get out of here. We need your help. And I was about to ask Larry, bro. I'm I think I may have found a way out of here. <laughs> But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry Whoa. mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Yeah, Your basically. Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. I mean, I could go find a Ouija board and we just, you know, try to contact him through the Ouija board, ask if he has coins or not, but uh, I don't think oh we're going to find a Ouija board in here. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Back right. Huh, he still carried his wallet. Oh, look at that. Bro. I'm not gonna check the wallet. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Okay, man, just needed a penny. Didn't mean to take all of his shit. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Penny time. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Kenny, I swear to fucking God. I swear to the Lord above. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Uh, 
Uh, Clementine, Clementine, I'm sorry. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I no, get out? Realistically See if speaking. you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Honestly, we could have fit through that. The only person who could have was probably Larry. What a motherfucking god. You killed a man Lily, that we could have had. Sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Say goodbye, bro. It doesn't take a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Kenny, I'm gonna kill you if you fuck up, bro. Kill you. Don't fuck up. Is that a ball sack? I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. All right, grab the sickle. Ooh. God, that's horrendous. I don't know when this is gonna be. Ah, sickle better. Get a slash them heads up. Yeah, they look like a ball sack right there, bro. Ugh, I think face? I'm gonna be sick. That's a face, bro. That's a whole ass head in there. Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Hey, you're fucked up, father, man. God, what's wrong with these people? Ooh, careful, don't hit that. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. I'm glad your inner monologue is Sick coming out. Bastards. All of them. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Oh my god, Kenny. I got the sickles. Back off. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Man, quit sitting out in the rain like a damn weird. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Can I pick which one to keep alive? Not the kill. Not enough meat on the tray. Oh hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> oh, I know, Mabel. This is Where my is favorite it? part too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. What's going on? Okay, door just shut. 
two. Hey, keep your three. eye on him. I knew it! Get the fuck out of me! Stab him! Stab! No, Kenny! Kill the poor bastard. Did my ear get shot? Okay, no. God, my fucking damn it, Kenny. No! Whatever. You can run. Don't be a painful death. You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. That crazy woman in the woods tried to warn me and I killed her. That bitch never got it. She almost fucked up our best deal. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already you tainted. Can't eat Do it then. Meat anyways. I know you can't. Fucking die. No! Oh god. God no! Gotcha. Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. Fuck! Kill anybody that's a threat? Sorry. I ain't letting them live. I mean, granted, he probably couldn't move anyways. Kitty! Strong ass form. The hell? Let's go. Carly. Lee? Ow. Shh. Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. They attacked us! I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit. How many of them are there? Two, Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kitty. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. He's got like infinite bullets or something, bro. me Stop right there! I mean it! No! 
Hey, hold up. I didn't click anything. I didn't click anything. Go, Brenda. Some bullshit, bro. I didn't click wait, shit. Wait, don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Uh, I think I hit S on accident thinking I could go backwards. Stop right there! I mean it! Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. A killer okay, lead. second. This Just first time, bro, I couldn't see that shit, bro. Brenda, your family was obviously smart, huh? Bro, How I'm did gonna get attacked back by the zombies. Just stop! Brenda, please. Oh shit. I don't wanna kill you, Lee! Is that duck? Please don't make this any worse. Just stop! You are. Look at what you've done. What the fuck do you think you are? Calm down. Calm down. What for, huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> down, little boogie. God damn it! No! <laughs> no! 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 Oh my god. Beat your ass up, motherfucker. Down! You know what? I'll let you live. My little girl's watching. Do I have to punch you? Oh, you got me. <laughs> you ain't shit. I don't want to traumatize Clementine no more. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked. <laughs> They're not coming. What do you mean? Lee? What the fuck do you mean? They're dead. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Walk away. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! 
Lee! I don't want to traumatize Clementine. He's gonna die anyways. They're getting in. Let's go. It's sad seeing the mom walk out though, bro. That's a fucked up episode. Fuck. I hope she doesn't hate me for killing that guy in front of her. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended. It really but, is. you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. But... I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Can Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Yeah, can we please check uh, on Kenny now, bro? Like, he got how are shot. you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You're no hero. You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, yes. you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? It's the best choice of words right there. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Uh. I shouldn't have done that. They were very bad men, Clementine, but that doesn't mean I had to kill them. Why did you? I, I wasn't thinking. I, I was angry. I was scared. But I did the wrong thing. You should never kill anybody unless you absolutely have to, okay? Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh god, not more strangers. We're gonna get shot out by the rabbit or the bandits or the robbers, whatever the bandits. I could hold like what eight people in there. Definitely have to be bandits. Oh, we have to Don't say something. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Okay, it's only a straight thing. Figures. Oh, crap! Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. It's a trap. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. 
don't give a fuck. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This oh, stuff she isn't just turned ours. around, huh? Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Clementine's right. Well, Billy's right. What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Look, dude, the moral thing we're to do. Fuck. Moral thing to do, and if it's not an apocalypse, man, is he wouldn't take it. But now you're in an apocalypse where food is a necessity and a need and survival. But they only give you two choices be the dickhead or not be the dickhead, and kill your party or save your party. Instead of. Taking a portion of you. We have to take it. We have to. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. <laughs> Let there be an option to take like a partial amount, bro, because we don't need it at all. It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Yeah, how the fuck do I back out? Oh, okay, never mind, we're good. See, just that box. Supplies? I'll take it. That's it, we're done. done. Take food. More food in here. Okay, we're good. We're done. No more. No more. I bet. Thanks for coming to the stream, man. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. I'm glad you're not loving it. I'm loving it. I'm gonna keep going with it and go crazy with it. I don't want to take any more of this food, bro. We Got a box it. of food here. I'll carry it. Uh, this hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. It's the only way we can put it. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. That's Here, a camcorder? you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? <laughs> oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, don't tell me they got some weird-ass pictures on there. Oh, shit. Breathing so damn heavy. Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking raping <laughs> Oh, darling baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you where we are. doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who do... Don't worry, little girl. And it's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Oh! Shit! Oh, God!
This place no. is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases in there. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Oh, somebody's gonna die right there. Okay, here we go, the stats. Chop David's leg off. Okay, 44% of people did do that. Shot Jolene. Oh, that girl. Yeah, her. The one in the forest. The one in that camcord tape. 39 players did shoot her. Help kill Larry. Okay. Uh, half of the people did not help kill Larry. It's more than half of the players did not kill both brothers. Um, and half the players stole food from the car. Bet. Well, that's episode two right there. I'm excited for episode three, bro. But you know what? Episode three is not going to happen in this stream. Episode three is going to happen in the next stream. Let's see. Today's Sunday, is it? Not Saturday. Today's Saturday, isn't it? Today is Saturday. You know what? I'll make y'all a deal. If I'm feeling good tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and stream episode three tomorrow. Not too sure what time, but I'll go ahead and stream episode three tomorrow and I'll do that so we get episode three out of the way. All right, because I know I didn't stream Friday, so I'm gonna get another stream this weekend. So y'all take a have, y'all have a great day and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's stream. And until then, I'll see y'all tomorrow and have a great one. Peace out.